I am super impressed with the Kraken Vecta. If you were on the fence about ordering one of these, you definitely should consider it. It's, <laughs> it is a blast, and this thing is a beast. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome back to Thunder RC. I've got the Kraken Vecta Ultra 12S uh, back out here again at one of my favorite areas. This is right by the beach and it's got some really short grass. We've got the Pro Line paddle tires on there. I think these are the shock waves. I can't remember the name of them, but oh, slingshots. That's what they are, slingshots. And they hold up pretty good. We ripped them at the beach last time and I had the Pro Line Badlands MX 57s on the front. dirty from the last bash but man this thing is a beast so last time I ran this car I popped out one of these rod ends on the sway bars here with a terrible crash check it out oh. mm. looks like this rod end right here on this sway bar thing popped out so after that bash, I brought it back to the house and I put this all back together with the original parts, just screwed it back on. But thank you Kraken for sending me some new ones, just in case. And there they are right there. We're gonna rock the original part and see if it holds up to today's abuse. Because Kraken makes pure quality parts, y'all. And pure quality cars, I'd argue this is the best 12S RC car you can buy. RTR out of the box this year and pure fifth scale solid axle thing is truly amazing there's nothing like it oh, she's vicious today y'all come on get up in there you time to go to skate park all right, so heading out to the location. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous sending a truck this big, 12S. There's also some little kids playing around on some bikes. So hopefully I can get this done. Oh! Oh! Y'all, that was insane. Probably the highest crack and back to jump on the internet, 12S, and landed it. But it looks like 
the rod end that I had broke previously popped out. If it wasn't for that, I probably would have drove away. So I'm going to replace this rod in here. Should be an easy fix, y'all. Okay, so we put the new rod end on there. Got it put back together. I can't see any other damage. I cannot believe that it took that jump and uh, that there's no serious damage. This is amazing. Let's see if it runs. Wow. Wow. Looks like something came loose though. Did the shock bust? Oh man. So I snapped the uh, shock stand off there. That was huge. Landing to the concrete. How's the chassis look? The chassis looks good. I got some wires hanging out there. I don't know what that's all about like my battery tray lid popped off I can't believe the axle took that because that was mental so I heard a clicking sound I don't know if that has to do with anything internally in the dip or whatever we'll have to check that out but the axle held up looks like wow that was big everybody hey, that was huge I almost cleared the whole skate park with that the fact that this thing is still running is insane, y'all. I cannot believe that this 50, 60 pound truck jumped like 30 feet in the air at the skate park, landing on concrete, 12S, and it's still driving. Man, go to Kraken RC and order you one of these bad boys today. This is unbelievable, y'all. All that broke was the shock standoff. I can't believe it. Okay, back here at the shop. Let's see what we got going on. So we got the body off here. And looking at the shock standoff, it just snapped clean off, y'all. That took a lot of force because this is big stuff here. But good news is it looks easy to fix. Hopefully I can get the rest of the screw extracted out of this cross beam here now i did notice we did bend the battery tray a little bit not a big deal this is just an aluminum piece so i can bend that back and it looks like the esc plate also bent see how it compressed and sunk down there that's also not a big deal i can put that in a vise and bend it back but the uh structural integrity of the truck looks amazing y'all the axle took that and i can't believe it I do not see any bending or distortion of any kind in the axle. Um, drivetrain feels fairly smooth. I did hear a clicking sound, so, uh, you know, I wonder what that is. When I first got the truck, I had a clicking sound, and it actually ended up being just a grub screw spline deal that goes through the drive shaft here, this pin, this axle pin. So, hopefully that's all it is, and we'll get this puppy ripping down the street again. That was absolutely mental, and... I gotta say, I don't think anybody has ever sent a Kraken Vecta like that. I mean, wow, on 12S, that was quite a sight. Everyone at the skate park was totally freaked out. It looked like a spaceship flying up there, and we landed it and drove away. Yes, we did snap a shock standoff, but this is a 60-pound truck, y'all. Now, I did lose my battery tray thing. It just popped off and went rolling around the grass. I could not find it. Uh... So, yeah, that's a bummer. I might go back later to, later today and see if I can find that thing. But let's take this apart and see if we can get it running. I also want to mention what an amazing job Kraken RC did on the battery tray because these are expensive batteries, y'all, and they survived that concrete landing. I don't see any issues. They look the same as when I put them in. So way to go, Kraken, on that design. 
when you buy a Kraken RC, you're getting quality, y'all. I'm telling you, no one's going to drive your Kraken like this. I do this because I'm the test subject of durability, ultimate durability, and I do it to show you what these cars can take. And I mean, when you pay $2,300, $2,500 for an RC car, you want to know what you're getting. And I'm telling you guys, this thing is worth every penny. Absolutely. Go buy yourself a Kraken Vecta. All right. That was a pretty easy fix. So I didn't have this part. I took this off my electric Vesla and it's not the same thread count as this guy here, but it is the same on the outside. So this shock standoff will work until I get the correct part. But I went ahead and just nutted that off and put that in there. I have not bent the battery tray straight yet or the ESC plate. I'm just going to run it and see how it does. I did tighten up the axle pins here and here and here. So hopefully the clicking sound goes away. Let us see if this Kraken Vecta runs after that massive jump.